The question is, what are we and what are we going to become? STEM is going to change the way that we approach education. Well, I would like to know why everybody's not doing STEM. I mean, we know that this is the way to go. This is a number one priority for industry. This is for every student who wants to be employable in the future. We need to get off that compartmentalization that we do. Okay, now we're doing math, now we're doing science, now we're doing English. It needs to be more integrated, we need to blur the lines. It is that idea that our students will be inquisitive, that our students will be problem solvers, that they'll be collaborative. We have some schools who are doing superb jobs already taking the initiative, taking the leadership. We feel it's our job to prepare every student for college. The culinary arts program was one of the programs that works very nicely with STEM related themes. You have chemistry with respect to nutrition. You have math with respect to proportion. You also are thinking of engineering with respect to space and, and your kitchen. We have a riparian area here and the students use it as an outside lab. They collect water samples from it that they can bring back into their classroom and look at it and see what, what's happening with the water. We have a horticulture area. Our culinary arts students come over and harvest some of the products that have been uh, grown here. Some students hook a rainwater harvesting program and that water then is used for the garden as well. One of the things we do differently, we do blur those lines among the disciplines. We understand that none of the disciplines can exist without each other. We don't believe that students come to us as empty vessels that we're going to pour knowledge into. We're really facilitators of learning, that we're learning side by side, um, that we're not just trying to pump a bunch of facts in trying to engage them in real work the way they'll engage in the real world. It is that idea that our students will be inquisitive, that our students will be problem solvers, that they'll be observant of the world around them. We're trying to recruit students into positions. Um, we're trying to fill our workforce pipeline for the long term. So we know the skills that these students are going to have to have to be able to compete, to be able to get these jobs. And those skills are essential for any job in today's world. We need schools to operate like businesses for the future. Finding the right people to hire has become increasingly difficult. In the 21st century, the world is changing so quick. And so we need people that can be flexible, adapt to that type of change. The bar is not staying constant. The bar is being raised all the time, and it's being raised globally. taking what you learn in a classroom and applying in a real world situation and that's kind of where I see STEM in many ways. We have to make it interesting for them though so that old mentality of well I'm not good in science or math goes by the wayside. When we talk about college and career success, STEM is the area where the majority of those students fail and that's the area that we need to focus on. We're talking about engineering a whole new economy and STEM is our vehicle to get there we could do better today. We need STEM now. We needed STEM yesterday. If we're going to be competitive on a global economy and have jobs for the future for our young people, we're going to have to look at STEM and teach young people to be employable in terms of what we need in the future. But we need you to also open up your minds, your attitudes, your behaviors, and your creative thinking on how we can assure that young people do succeed in graduating college and career ready.